everybody and welcome back to Tens Motorsports. Today we're going to be installing some more Bevency products. We've received a bunch of stuff from them and we've been really happy with it. Everything has been plug and play. Pull the old stuff, put the new stuff in, and hopefully, as far as I can tell, this will be the exact same situation. This, as you can see, is a power steering reservoir for the E3646, Z3, Z4s. You'll find them in a bunch of BMWs, late 90s, early 2000s, that this will be compatible with. I don't know what the E90 and E85s did, but this will fit a lot of BMW. So just make sure that it fits your vehicle by checking the link in the description below where you go to see this product. And if you use this code here, you can get a discount on your next Bevency order. Before we get into the rest of the features that this power steering reservoir has, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like if you enjoy this type of content. Also make sure to check us out on Instagram where we do giveaways such as this guy right here. Tenza underscore motorsports. All you have to do is follow us. This is a E-Drive 4S, it's basically a throttle control, but this right here will be reviewed in an upcoming video, and then I will be giving it away to one of my followers. Again, Tenza underscore motorsports on Instagram. This is gonna be, I'm pretty excited about doing this giveaway. This is a company called Shadow. Shadow Motors has wanted me to review this for a while, and I finally was like, yep, yeah, let's find ourselves a stock E46. We'll put this on there and see what's going on. These two vehicles here don't need it. That's why we're gonna be giving it away when I'm done. Uh, these have a rev match tune on them, but not everybody wants to have some crazy, fast, heavily modified E46. A lot of people just have daily drivers, and that's exactly what uh, this would be for. So keep an eye out for that in future videos and be following us on Instagram for a chance to win this. So here we are in the engine bay of my E46 race car. And as you can see right here on the top is a power steering reservoir. Now, if you've got an E36, it's gonna be tucked away down underneath there. Sometimes I don't, I don't know at what, what engine models and stuff, this isn't up on top, but it's nice on this car because it's right there. Now, there are a few differences on my car than the other ones. I've got some hoses that I've had to extend because of the supercharger, but this should fit right there on top. First thing you notice right off the bat is that this is taller. This holds essentially the same amount of fluid. It might hold a little bit more, but look at what this does. Separates, meaning that you can actually pop this open and you can service this. You don't have to throw this away every single time. Now these other ones, they're kind of nice because you just chuck them and they're not super expensive, but this would be more of a permanent filter and reservoir for you. So when you go to do your power steering fluid service, you can actually pull this apart and service the filter inside. So unfortunately on this one, you can't actually see the filter you can see the top of it, but if you reach around the side here with your finger, you can feel the screen. You can feel the screen around it. So you can pull this apart and you can spray solvents in there, flush it out, and you can reuse this. You don't have to throw it away every single time. Now, obviously this is made out of metal, so it'll be a little bit more durable. These tend to crack and leak, and you won't have to be fighting that anymore when you go with this system here. This is slightly taller. The reason for that is when you go to separate this, they wanna make sure that you have essentially the same fluid here as you do in that filter. And then that means that you've got a different length dipstick here. Check your fluid levels. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think it'll match really nicely with, I got some Max Peating Rod Red here, and then here's some Bevency there, and then the bleeder screw is also Bevency. So to do this change, preferably you'd change out your power steering fluid. This car has been done fairly recently, so it's really not that bad, but I'm gonna be pulling the fluid out. The fluid I pull out will be exchanged with some new fluid, uh, but I'm not flushing the entire system. What I'm gonna be doing is, I'll just use it like a turkey base or something like that, and we'll pull the fluid that's in here as best we can out, and you'll be removing the screw on the side that would loosen this up. And I should be able to slide this up and out of the way. I'll take the lines off the bottom of them and slap the lines onto the new one. I'm really hoping I've got clearance here. I can't remember if I moved this for the supercharger. I think it's actually sitting in a different position, but I, I can't remember. So hopefully that's not gonna cause any issues. But if you're running a stock E46, uh, you won't have any fitment issues. Just FYI, when you start adding tons of stuff you, you run into a lot of weird things that you wouldn't think uh, that you were gonna run into. So let's see if all of my different modifications continue to 
be happy and work in harmony with each other. But yes, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Removing the fluid out of here, pulling the lines off and swapping it out. All right, hopefully it wasn't a big of a mess for you as it was for me. It's just hard to work around the supercharger and then I've got all this stuff here. Um, I was using hose clamps. Also, I'll link this tool in the description below. It's just a Craftsman screwdriver, it's an electric screwdriver. Doesn't have a ton of torque, but if you're doing hose clamps and running screws in and you're worried about you know, over torquing something, like running it in with a drill, you can do the initial back out by hand and then run it out the rest of the way. Pretty cool stuff. I use that all the time for hose clamps. So I was using hose clamps for down here. These, like I said, these hoses and the power steering, all this was done like 4,000, 5,000 miles ago. So I feel pretty confident about putting some permi clamps on it. This is the ones that like actually like crimp down instead of being adjustable. Downside with these adjustable ones is eventually they just kind of start to leak. So I think I'm probably gonna go to the more permanent style. If you're doing this stuff, make sure your hoses are good because if they're bad, then you'll be back in here you know, you just put in your Bevency and you could potentially have damaged your hoses because they're 20 some odd years old. Those hoses cost almost nothing to do. So it might be a good time to do a service, but mine are in good condition, fluids in good condition. So I'm gonna go bring over the Bevency system and I'll drop this in and then see if I can't crimp those on. And then I won't have to worry about them leaking anymore. I did when I got underneath it, it was, it was leaking. And those OEM reservoirs just like to, they leak, so. I'm sure everybody who's watching this knows that, but yeah, let's go get the Bevin C1. We'll get that installed. All right, there you go. Install complete. Uh, again, this took me longer only because I'm fighting all these other pieces. If, if your car's not this heavily modified, it won't be this difficult. I think removal and install took me about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, anybody else, this should be half that time. Uh, I spent the majority of the time fishing out tools that I had dropped on top of my alternator. But other than that, I mean, works really well. So you can see, you can just spin this off, check that. And then if you want to remove the whole thing, you can do it right there. Everything else fit fine. What I did with this collar, uh, the other thing that's kind of nice about this is this collar here. Uh, the other one, it wants you to slide it over the bottom. If it's just this bottom section, this can slide over the top of the bottom because the lip is here. Uh, and so what I did was I put this where I wanted it to, slid the collar down on top of it, snug the collar up so that I could give as much room to go down as far as possible. Then what I did was I put this down all the way and it pushed the collar and then I tighten it up. And that way I know everything fits absolutely perfect. This is seating properly, so it's all the way down on its gasket there. It fit just fine, didn't have any clearance issues. So I think that looks fantastic. I'm gonna get this filled back up. And yeah, that's it. I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. Again, link down in the description. Here is the code again to get a discount on your next Bevency order. Really happy with our stuff. Big shout out to Bevency for hooking us up with these kind of items. Our cars need this kind of stuff where there's so much composite. Everybody complains there's, there's too much plastic and everything fails and there's companies that are out there that are making metal long-term use items and Bevency is leading that charge. Really appreciate everybody so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions down in the comment section below, easy install and I recommend this to everybody who's got this style of power steering reservoir.
やんの？